Welcome to Divi Coaching. Today we're going to be looking at child themes for Divi. Now I'm not going to go into the whys and wherefores of whether you need a child theme or not. I'm assuming that you've already done that exercise and you've decided you do want one and you want to get on with getting one installed. Now there are a number of plugins available that will do this for you and there are also websites that will author the child theme template for you. I don't use either of those, I like to start from scratch and to help you out I've provided a template which is available to download in the description below. So the first step is to download the zip file and then we'll get on with customising the contents and setting it up for your website. Once you've downloaded the file to your computer, if you go to your downloads folder you will find a zip file called child theme lesson. Now this can be installed straight into WordPress as is or there's an option to go in and to customise the thumbnail image and the name of the theme. So two alternatives, if you want to customise it, stick around. If you want to get straight on with installing, just skip to the timecode that's on the screen now. OK, so to customise it, the first thing we need to do is extract the files. So I'm going to click on Extract and Extract All and I'm going to create a new folder that is going to contain the three files. And you will see the first one is called functions.php and we don't need to do anything to that file. The first thing you might want to do is to customise the thumbnail image and this is the one that will appear when you go into the WordPress dashboard and choose appearance and themes. So in order to do that you need to create a 1200 by 900 pixel PNG image and it's essential that it's called screenshot, all in lowercase, dot png. So let's do that. Um, in fact, I've got one that I created a little bit earlier and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to come back into my folder. I'm going to delete the one that's in there and I'm going to paste in the one I've just created. OK, so there's a lovely new image. The next thing that we might want to do is change the name of the theme, the author name, etc. And to do that, we need to edit the style.css file. Now, normally I'd be using a code editor like Visual Studio Code to edit a CSS file. But as it's only a small file and we're only going to make some minor edits, I'm just going to open it with the default text editor on my Windows machine, uh, which is Notepad. You could use whatever you like as long as you're able to resave the file with a .css extension without making any uh, strange formatting changes. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and it will open up in Notepad. The first thing you probably want to change is the name and this should be something unique. The reason for this is if you just called it something like child theme, when someone came to install it, if they already had another theme called child theme in their WordPress installation, it could cause issues. The next line, theme URI, is more for theme developers who probably have a website and a section of that website dedicated to the theme, in which case you can put the URI in here, completely optional, as is the author line, but it's a good idea to pop in who wrote the theme and the author URI, again, put in your website if you're the author of the theme. The next line is the description and it's a good idea to put a short description in here that does say that it is a child theme of Divi. Version is next and always a good idea to put in a version number and probably 1.0 is as good a place as any to start. The next line where it says template colon divi, you need to make sure you do not change. This is the line that tells WordPress that this child theme is based on the divi theme. Now I'll put some more details in the documentation below so that you can be absolutely clear what you need to do in order to make this file. Now if you do make any changes, obviously make sure to save the changes and then we can close this window and move on to the next stage. In order to install this theme into WordPress, it does need to be a zip file. So I'm going to select these three files, I'm going to right click and I'm going to say send to compressed zipped folder and I'm going to give a name to this folder of my child theme. Having done that, I'm going to move that folder into the download folder to join the one that we downloaded earlier. We can now move on to installing the theme. If you're rejoining the tutorial here, while you've been away, we've created a customised version of the theme called My Child Theme and we've zipped the files up and we've left them in the folder with the original version that we downloaded earlier on. So now we can get on with installation. First thing you need to do is go to the dashboard, go to appearance and go to the themes tab. Then we click on add new at the top. Next you need to select upload theme and choose file. 
You can then choose your child theme. I'm going to install the one that we downloaded earlier rather than the modified one, and I'm going to click on Open. Next thing is to click on Install Now, and very quickly you will see that we get a success message saying Theme Installed Successfully. We can now click to go to the Themes page where we will see our new theme. And if we click on it, we will see the title, version number, author, and description, all taken from the file that we uploaded. We can now click on Activate to activate the theme, and as soon as that's done, we can head over to the site and make sure that everything is working. Next thing we're going to do is check that the child theme is actually functioning. Now you can see here on my sample page, I have a heading. This is an H1 heading, and we're going to add uh, one line of CSS to change the color of that heading, and that will verify that our child theme is working. So to do that, we head back to the dashboard, we choose Appearance, and we choose Theme Editor. Before we make any changes, we need to be sure that we are editing our child theme. And you can see up here, it says Divi Coaching Child Theme. In the actual CSS, it says Divi Coaching Child Theme. And over here, it says Theme to Edit, Divi Coaching Child Theme. So we're pretty sure that we're in the right place. So you'll see here, there's a line that says Custom CSS below this line only. Do not edit above this line. And that literally means what it says. So underneath here, we're going to add um, an H1 tag because we're targeting H1 with our CSS, some curly braces, and we're going to say color red. And that's the extent of the CSS. So we have a single CSS instruction. We're now going to hit update file. We'll see it says file edited successfully. We can now head back to the site and we'll notice that our headlines change color, which means our CSS is working. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you're not already a channel subscriber, then please do subscribe, and I would love to see your comments below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.